Hello everybody, Interiteri back again with another video. Yeah guys, we have the French Open who is being played. What is it for the fourth days today that the French Open has been played? I want to talk a little about the matches that we have seen and the upcoming matches that we will see. What are my thoughts so far? Have things gone to what I've expected? Guys, yeah guys, pretty much what, what we have seen, things has been what I have expected. The high seats players, those, the most high seats players, they have delivered. Besides some high seat players like Bashelvili, I think he, has, he is one of the seats, but he's 31 seat, I believe, 31 or 32 seat. He's, he has been knocked out. But that, that was not any surprise because Bashelvili, since he came back, since this new start of tennis, since the uh, coronavirus has started, he has not won one single match, you know that? So that was not a surprise that that high seed player was knocked out in the first round. Then we have some other seeds who has been knocked out. Uh, one of I I've talked uh, uh, some of uh, of some of who, who's been knocked out yesterday, uh, like Lajovic, for example, Choric. Uh, not to surprise that Choric uh, went out. Uh, he's so inconsistent. Lajovic, I was uh, I'm sorry, Krajanovic. I mean, I mean Krajanovic, not Lajovic. Lajovic is still in 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 the event. Krajanovic, he was knocked out. Uh, I was surprised there, four sets against another Serbian dude. Uh, other players that has been knocked out, who has been high seats, yeah, Fognini and Monfils. No surprise there. They are both, both of those two players are the biggest clowns we have on the ATP Tour. No surprises there. Then I want to talk a little about Tsitsipas and Rublev. Man, what kind of comebacks. Congratulations to those two guys. Like I said last week, very strange that they played the Hamburg tournament just before the French Open. Because in Hamburg and French Open, pretty much the, the conditions are similar because the Hamburg is played also in cold conditions and French Open also in cold, cold, cold conditions. But French Open has little different balls. And maybe that has been a little surprise for those players, for Rublev and Tsitsipas to have little different balls than in Hamburg and and uh, they both of the, both of those two players did com really great comebacks coming back from two love down for the first ever time in their careers I have underrated Sam Query man Sam Query is not a bad player on clay either we all know that he's really good on grass he has defeated both Murray and Djokovic, I believe, he has defeated on grass. I, I believe he has defeated Murray as well in Wimbledon. He has defeated both Murray and Djokovic in Wimbledon in the past. But on clay, I didn't believe that he will be a threat for, for uh, Rublev. I really didn't believe. But, but man, he cracked 80 winners. 80 winners against Rublev. Yeah, he did. A couple of unforced errors as well, I believe. 62 over 60 on first 62 or 64 on first errors, but 80 winners 29 of those was where 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 services that is impressive to do that kind of sur so many services on clay 29 services that is impressive man it's really impressive Sam query I underrated him I never thought that Sam query would Trouble Andrew Rublev so much and he almost defeated him. He's, he was serving for the match But he couldn't do it. He failed And Rublev came back and won the third and fourth and in the end fifth set Rublev man What kind of clean match he did it was not like he was bad. He did only 20 unforced errors only 20 unforced errors And cracked 64 winners to do that kind of little unforced errors. He does six, He does 44 more winners than unforced errors. Rublev. 44 more winners than unforced errors. 
That is impressive, I, I must say. That is impressive. Yeah, Munar did also very little Amphosterus against Tsitsipas in a five-set battle. He did only 21 Amphosterus. Munar, that is impressive. But he did only 38 winners. So he does, if I'm counting right, 21, 31, 17 more winners than Amphosterus Munar. 17 more winners than Amphosterus. Rublev, 44 more winners. That is deadly impressive. Deadly impressive. So it was not like Rublev was bad. Absolutely not. It was Query who was really good. He was, he was firing all cylinders, really. He really was. 80 winners. 80 winners on clay. I, I don't know if I've ever seen someone do 80 winners on, in a clay court match. I don't know. I have never seen it before. And still lose. And still lose. That says about, a lot about Rublev's level. Uh, that was a great performance from Rublev, I must say. Great comeback. Great performance from Tsitsipas as well. Not as good as Rublev, I must say. Not as good as Rublev. He did much more unforced than Rublev. Uh, and, uh, and he didn't do as many winners as uh, Rublev as well. But he, uh, Munar is, is uh, a to different, different kind of player. He's not like Sam Query. Munar really, he makes you hit a lot of extra balls. One time and three time and four time. He, I think he has trained in, in Rafa's, uh, Rafa's academy. So he has gotten, uh, Rafa has uh, uh, learned, how, uh, learned him I think one or two things, how to make uh, your opponent frustrated. And Munar really did that with Stefanos in the first two sets. But then Stefanos did a great comeback as well, exactly like Munar, exactly like Rublev. And won his first ever match when he has been down, loved to down in his career. So he has turned that around for the first time in his career. And the same was for Rublev. Really good, um, impressive comebacks from both of these two players. But, uh, man... The, that semi-final spot against Djokovic, who will take that semi-final spot, will be a really battle. Because on the bottom section of the draw, I'm pretty convinced that we will see Team and Rafa face each other in that semi-finals. Pretty convinced. I, uh, on the top of the section of the draw, convinced that Novak will take that semi-final spot. But who will be his opponent? That will be a battle, guys. I've said Shapovalov. But I am not 100% certain about that prediction, I must say. I was not deadly impressive, impressed by Shapovalov against Simon. Yeah, Simon, we all know that he's a grinder. He makes you hit an extra ball. He, he doesn't do a lot of unforced errors. But that was the old Simon. Sim, Sim, the new Simon does a lot of unforced errors. And he, he, he took one set from Shapo. He was up in the lead in the second set, was serving for the set. And he choked in that second set, Gilles Simon. And Shapo, all in all, did 55 on Fosteris. Yeah, I know he did 65 winners. So he does 10 more winners than Fosteris, but 55 on Fosteris, it's too much. I don't know, man. I, I, I doubt it that Shapo will not make this to the semis with this, this kind of many errors. He will not make it. He, he just will not. Uh, a player like Rubel will take him down. I believe that a player like Rublev will take him down, really. Uh, maybe even Tsitsipas will, make, will take him down, if, if Tsitsipas is in that fourth round. But, uh, you know, you, I cannot trust in anyone, guys. I am only certain about one thing, that Djokovic will, will deliver, Nadal will deliver, and team will deliver. The gra the, this French Open trophy will be in the hands of one of these three guys. None of the other players will win the French Open. I am... I am certain about that. This I am certain. You can never be certain in sports. But 99% sure I am that the French Open will be won by Rafa, Novak or team. Uh, Rublev is impressive. I am being impressed from Rublev, guys. 20 Amphosteros, 64 winners. And that is deadly impressive. But uh, do I believe Rublev? Rublev? Rublev can definitely take that semifinal spot. He really can do that. I, I'm serious. Shapo, I've said Shapo, so I, I will not change my prediction now. I will not. But I was not deadly impressed by Shapo in the first round. I was not. 55 Amphosteros, man, that is too much. That is great, too much. Uh, and Tsitsipas, I was not deadly impressed by Tsitsipas either. I'm, I'm not just, I'm not trust, I'm not trusting in Tsitsipas. I'm not trusting in Shapo. Uh, 
I am not. I I'm trusting in Rublev. I I really do. I'm tr I trust in Rublev. Uh, do I trust in? Do I trust him more than Shapo and Titipas? Probably yes. But I will not be shocked if Rublev also gets knocked out before the semifinals. That semifinal spot, who will face Novak, will be a is wide open. Is wide open. It can be a total different name as well. Maybe it will not be Shapo, maybe it will not be Tsitsipas, maybe, maybe it will not be Rublev. Maybe it will be a total different opponent. But in the end of the day, I believe that one of these three players will take that semifinal spot. Rublev, Shapo or Tsitsipas. I said Shapo on the beginning of, of, of this tournament and I, and I will stuck to that prediction. But I will not be surprised at all. At all. If Shapo gets knocked out before that semifinals. Well, let's see if Shapo can make it... Past the second round, we'll face a, a Spaniard Klecor specialist who, who destroyed his first, his first opponent in the, in the first round. He barely lost any games. So let's see if Shapo comes through him to begin with. If Shapo makes 55 on Fosteros against that Klecor specialist from Spain, he will not come through him. I can guarantee you that, guys. He will not come through him because the only reason why Shapo came through Sa Simon Gilles, Gilles Simon, because Simon, Gilles Simon is... He's done. He is done. He, his tennis career is done. Players like Simon, players like Gasquet, Gasquet, man. He gave RBA a run for his money only in the first set. Then Gasquet, he was, he was, he took vacation in the second and third set. We have many players who take vacations, guys. Many players. Gasquet, Monfils, Fognini. Uh, you name it. You, we have many players, guys, who love to take vacation. Who are the players who are most consistent tennis players? Nadal, Djokovic, Federer. They don't take vacations during their matches. Special, especially Nadal. He never takes vacations. Even if Nadal wins a set 6-4 or 7-5, even if, if he, even if he loses four or five games in a set, he still has not taken vacation, but his opponent has deserved those games. But players like Gasquet, Ruble, uh, I'm sorry, Gasquet, Tit, Gasquet, Monfils, Fognini, uh, they, they, they will always take vacation during matches because they cannot hold the game together, period. I was not deadly impressed by uh, uh, Shapovalov. I was not deadly impressed by, by uh, Tsitsipas, especially not the first two sets. I was deadly impressed from Rublev, even though that he, he almost lost, but it was not like he was bad. It was Sam Query. He was firing in all cylinders, really. He really was. 80 winners, for God's sakes. Do I need to say more? 80 winners. Djokovic, he looked solid, not superior, but uh, I, I knew that Djokovic will never, ha will never have any troubles against uh, Mikael Umer, who is from Sweden. I know his game. He's bad in everything. He's not good in everything. Bad serve, bad forehand, bad backhand. Not great shot tolerance. He, the only thing I can say good about Mikael Umer is that he has, he's a good athlete. He moves great. And we all saw when he did that tweener behind his legs. Uh, so he's a great uh, athlete, but and Djokovic he was praise, praising him after the match said he is, has great potential Great Djokovic great We all know that the, you are not meaning that uh, Djokovic we all know you all only want, you you just want to be polite We all know that Mikhail Imer has nothing to do on the top 50 ranking He will his career will be between being on top 80 to top 20 to top 200 he will not be a top 50 player Mikhail Imer he just doesn't, he's just not good enough. So, all in all, it is, it, but we will see upsets, guys. We will see upsets. Just trust me. The further this tournament goes deeper and deeper, we will see upsets. We will see how Chapo will take on that second match against that Spaniard Klecker specialist who only lost two, three games in this first round. We will see... Uh, uh, Stefan, uh, St uh, Stefan Sissipas, how, will, how he will take Cuevas in the second round, even though he has a head, uh, great head-to-head -head record against him. Uh, we will see Rublev, how, we, how he will progress after doing a superb match, in my opinion, against Sam Query. And, we, and it will be very interesting to see who will take that semi-final spot against Novak Djokovic. I think it will be between Rublev, Sissipas and Shapo. I think so, it will be one of them. Who it will be, I don't know, but I would not be surprised if we, if we have a totally different name as well. Because the only player I really trust is Djokovic, Nadal and team. These three, I am definitely sure, will be in the semifinals. Who will take that fourth semifinal spot? It is really, really wide open, guys. Alright, guys. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care and bye-bye.